the Dog Mountain Trailhead. There's a sign, there's information here. We're on this road. It's really steep. <laughs> but anyway, it's about 1.7 miles, it says. So we're about a quarter of a mile in. I mean, it is like brutally steep. It's just a road, a gravel road, and it's hot out. You know, it's middle of July, it's muggy. Xander's way up there, kicking our butts. This is a relentless, incline here it just doesn't stop you can see rife lake through here not well but it's through there Well, we're three quarters of a mile in. A little bit of a switch back this way. Linda's already been way up there and then came back. Yeah. Look at this. Look at that rock wall, Braden. It's cool, huh? Wow, look at that. Not quite to the top yet, but it's a nice little viewpoint right here. Pretty cool. The trail goes, or the, well, I should say road. The road goes that way still. Look at this rock wall. We're in kind of a exposed section right now, so it's freaking hot. It's sunny. Look at so this rock, I don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up, but uh, there's this cool kind of echo if you talk when we're next to this rock. It's bouncing off of it. There's also a faded uh, one marker. That means one mile from the trailhead which is exactly where this viewpoint is. Kelly and Braden are taking a break because it is just relentlessly steep and it's hot out today. Yeah, very hot, just like yesterday. So how many miles did we do yesterday? We did 7.2 miles. Yeah, seven and a quarter. Seven and a quarter. Yeah, how come you're swinging your hat like that? What would happen if you let it go and it went way down there? I would. <laughs> Immediately just run down the mountain. Oh, you're just gonna run down the mountain and go get it? Back up here. Yeah, is that what you're gonna do? Yeah. It is. It is. I zoomed in ten times. There's a truck unloading right now. Alright, well, we got about a half mile left. It's slow going because it's just so steep and it's a gravel road so it's just not grippy it's kind of slippery and it's hot slow and steady here we are I'm gonna go around this corner and then there's and we're at almost 2,000 feet right now yeah doing this on a cooler day would be a lot easier So there's a little 
forest road branching off to the right. I don't know where that goes. It's not marked. Kiosk. There's a uh, windsock up there. And the viewpoint has kind of like this teardrop loop. Oh. <laughs> this last little stretch is super steep. There's a lawn chair up here. <laughs> Woo! Oh wow. So, they also have a, a bench, a couple lawn chairs, Time to read all that. It's some old hiking gear. All right. It is hot. Do you? Oh, you got your jerky. Okay. So yeah. Um, this is our favorite uh, trail snack. It's the Old Trapper Jumbo Kippered Beef Steak. We bring these on pretty much every hike. They're our favorite. <sighs> yeah. So, this right here is a launch point for paragliders. That's why they got the wind socks and stuff.
Just leave it alone. Just leave it alone. All right, so we're getting ready to head back down. So there's this uh, monument here. I don't know if you're gonna be able to read it. It says Buddy Car Carl. Does it say the year? Yep. It's 1945. 1945. Hmm. December something. We'll have to look at that and see what happened. It's December 6th and October 7th. October um, 7th. 2014. His name is up there somewhere. Yeah. Alright. We're ready to head back down. So. <laughs> Meet you at the car, okay. No, we're gonna walk down together, buddy. Okay. Yeah, so that was uh, pretty awesome. We did not know what to expect. There's uh, not a lot of information, at least, well, we didn't do a lot of research before we came up here, so. Yeah, normally I do more research. We do more research usually, but we didn't know what to expect. Um, but it was kind of a nice surprise, so that was awesome. Even leave these holes down on the way we'll leave some stats uh, at the car. at the car when we get back down. All right, so we just got back down to the trailhead, to the car. Um, that was a challenging little hike, but absolutely worth it. He owns it. Yeah, again, it's uh, Port Blake Blakely owns this property, so it is private land. It's not state land. It's privately owned, but it is open to the public. Um, they have strict rules about what you can do up here and stuff. Um, if you go to portblakely.com, uh, you can read all about it, about the company and stuff. Um, they're very clear about what, which places are open, which trails are open, and that kind of stuff. So, um, yeah. But uh, it's hot. It's uh, four o'clock in the afternoon. Time to go home. And uh, we are gonna head home. Oh, we forgot the stats from this hike. So Kylie's gonna update you. So it's 3.83 miles, 1,201 foot elevation gain, and our moving time was about two hours. Yeah. Um, That's not bad. I mean, it's it's really not bad, yeah. but considering the heat and uh, how steep it is. Yeah. It's a uh, it's traffic going by. Um, it is a gravel road, so it's not the easiest walk. It's different than you know walking up like a dirt trail or something. But, I mean, you know, it's it's definitely challenging, but it's worth it. So, anyway, that was the stats. And uh, we're going to get out of here. See you guys next time.